G'day guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Now we all know the AFL season is fast approaching. It is actually on tonight. You know, we're all happy footy's back. Of course we're happy. So today, a few people have suggested it to do some AFL predictions. And if anyone has different opinions, comment down below and let me know what you think. But first of all, I'm gonna say my top four. The 2017 AFL top four that I believe it will be is going to be GWS, the Western Bulldogs, Adelaide, and Geelong. So, uh, yeah, obviously the Giants, they're looking the, they're looking the best, aren't they? They're looking quite strong. Brett Delidio added to the side, could add something. The Western Bulldogs, don't know if they'll finish there really, like, everyone's opinion on them have gone up since winning the Premiership, but they did finish like seventh last year, so is Travis Cloak gonna add something a little bit special? Um, not quite sure, obviously they get Murphy and a ton of players back to add to that list, but don't know, but I have put them second. All right, the next thing I'm going to predict is the bottom four. In 15th, the Gold Coast Suns. In 16th, the Brisbane Lions. In 17th, bit of a different one here, North Melbourne. And coming in at 18th is Carlton. A uh, bit stiff on the Blues. They won a fair amount of games last year, to be honest. But but yeah, their list, like they've added a lot of youth. And I think the last two drafts that they've had is pretty impressive. But I just don't see them uh, delivering and firing just yet. Um, obviously, they're going to have a great forward line with Kerno, Mackay, Silvani, Kazbolt. Like, what a great forward line. But I think that'll take a couple of years to develop. Uh, Weedering down back. He's a talent. Also in defence, they've had a Caleb Marchbank, so they're looking good, the Blues. But I just, I don't see them being able to compete with other teams, and that's why I put them last. The other big one is North Melbourne. They're now the youngest list in the AFL, um, after being the oldest last year, and I just don't think you can turn over that much experience and not plummet. Um, their first half of last year was impressive. Obviously, they played some good footy, but I don't know. I think it could be a tough year for the North fans, but hopefully they turn around pretty quickly. I'm going to predict the Brownlow medalist now, um, and for me, it's going to be Luke Parker. I think he was top four or five last year, um, and played some good footy. And I actually had him up there for last year as well, and I, I sort of think him and Jack Stephen are the sort of guys that I think could jump up and do it. Coleman, I'm terrible at picking the Coleman medalist. I think Josh Kennedy. Every time the ball goes near him, he absolutely clunks it. And um, even though he gets mocked for his kicking style, he's pretty good off the boot, so I'll back him in again. Rising star, I haven't followed the under-18s as much as what I did the last couple of years. Um, a couple of my favourites got drafted that I watched in the TSC Cup a couple of years ago. So Jai Simkin, um, Jordan Gallucci, Dylan Clark, these type of players are absolute jets. But the person I'm going to pick for the AFL Rising Star this year will be Will Brody. Uh, tallish midfielder for the Gold Coast Suns. He looks, he looks the piece. He looks the piece of the puzzle. He looks, he looks alright. So I'll back him in, and we'll see how that goes. A headline we won't see this year: AFL Evolution becomes the best-selling game in all of Australian gaming history. I'm excited for AFL Evolution. I just don't think we'll see that. Headline we will see: Damien Hardwick's time at Richmond is over. Anyway guys, thanks for watching another video. A little bit different, didn't uh, carry on like I usually do in the other videos, so uh, let me know some of your predictions. Let me know how you think this season will go for your team. Yeah, and excited for the footy to start, and um, I'll see you next week. Thanks.